Hello and welcome to the print. I'm Akanksha Mishra and this is Scientifix where I will be taking you through this week's top science stories from around the world. The first story that we have today is about scientists from India's JNCASR, an institute which is under the Department of Biotechnology, who have come up with a novel way to detect monkeypox virus strains to avoid false positives and possibly also open pathways for therapeutic potential. A press release by the DBT today explains how the mpox virus or the monkeypox virus is a double-stranded DNA virus, much like SARS or HIV. And the most common method that's used to detect it is PCR. PCR is a method that relies on replicating the virus multiple times to be able to study it better. But this process does have the drawback of often turning up false positives due to non-specific DNA signals. What the JNCSR scientists have done is to detect one particular structure within the mpox DNA, which is called the G quadruplex or GQ. Now, GQ is a very stable and a very specific component of the mpox virus. And scientists decided that instead of amplifying the entire DNA sequence, we could just look for and identify this GQ sequence to detect mpox. It is highly specific, reduces the chances of false positives and more importantly, this GQ structure, once studied further, could also be the target for antiviral therapy against mpox. The next story possibly has huge implications for the study of language and especially written language in the world. Archaeologists from John Hopkins University in the US have found clay cylinders in western Syria dated to 2400 BCE, which is 4400 years ago approximately. These cylinders have what is being said is evidence of a form of alphabetic writing, as you'll see on your screens right now. They are very small cylinders, almost the length of one finger, and they were found in western Syria's Umel Mara region, alongside some skeletons, some gold and silver jewellery, and some cookware. The carbon dating on these cylinders shows that they are at least 500 years older than when scientists originally thought alphabetic writing began, which was in ancient Egypt. The findings were presented at the American Society for Overseas Research meeting on 21st November. Archaeologists are yet to decipher the script. It does indicate positive connotations about the development of language and how early it happened, and especially an alphabet-based writing system, which is different from hieroglyphs and cuneiforms, where the shapes do not necessarily need to represent a particular sound. The next story that we have is about scientists from the Karolinska Institute in Sweden, who have found that the human heart has a regenerative potential, which can increase substantially with a surgically installed heart pump. The study, published in Circulation Journal on 21st November, looks at the endogenous cardiomyocyte regeneration in a human heart. Every heart has the ability to regenerate its muscle cells through the lifetime of an individual. But this ability is at a very slow rate. The scientists found that this regeneration rate becomes even slower in case of a heart attack or any injury. But the Swedish scientists found that when a patient has a surgically implanted heart pump, which is known as a left ventricular SS device, LVAD, the regeneration capacity of the muscle cells increases by about six times. Now, the scientists are not suggesting that everybody should install heart pumps to increase their regeneration potential. But instead, this study is a good starting point to look at the possibility of naturally boosting the heart's own repair mechanism. Finally, scientists in the University of Utah have sent blood cells up in the International Space Station, according to a new release by the University of Utah Health. The blood cells will be studied by a combination of NASA astronauts and a ground crew of Utah scientists to analyze how being in space leads to the prevalence of blood clots. Yes, it's a known fact that as astronauts spend longer time in space, their chances of developing blood clots are higher. Something to do with the zero gravity situation and the cosmic radiation, according to the scientists. Since treating blood clots is difficult up in the ISS, Scientists want to get more knowledge about why they occur and how, if at all, they can be prevented. Now on the ISS, the scientists will specifically study platelets, which are the blood cells directly involved in clotting, and they'll analyze their gene activity and their proteins to see if being exposed to space has any effect. 
Simultaneously, a group of scientists will be on the ground on Earth and they'll be mirroring the ISS scientist actions with another group of blood cells, almost as a control group, so that any change in the space brown blood cells is immediately noticed. That's all we have for today. Thank you for tuning into the print.